What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be reviewing Groundskeeper Willie from the Simpsons Jack, Spefitz, Jack, Jack Specific line. Excuse me. This guy is looking super duper awesome. You can see Willie there with the shovel and the bagpipes. And then Homer, uh, Bart, Marge, Maggie, and his name up there. And the figure. And then Lisa on the other side. And then there is Groundskeeper Willie looking honestly kind of creepy. In my opinion, especially though, like, if you see his mouth right there, he looks pretty derpy. And then there's Rest of Way 1, which we did review Homer last time. We already reviewed Bart, and now we're reviewing Groundskeeper Willie, and I still do not have auto. So, um, yeah, this is looking pretty awesome, so let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open and see what he's like. So here are his accessories. He does come with a shovel, which is pretty nice. You know, it's a pretty plain mold, you know, but, you know, it's, like, supposed to look animated, so, you know, it looks perfectly fine. And it is a nice uh, suitable accessory because he's a groundskeeper. And then he does have his bagpipes, which he can hold, um, which is pretty cool. Um, hopefully they'll make like a variant with him, like in like his like more of like an Irish outfit, I guess you can kind of say, so he can play these bagpipes. I think that will, will will be pretty cool. So yeah, this is like where his mouth goes, and I guess he. I don't really know how to play a bagpipe, so yeah, I mean, it has some nice detailing on it, and it looks pretty cool, in my opinion, so uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and take a look at the figure. So here is Willie, and he is looking pretty, pretty good, in my opinion, definitely fitting that um, animated Simpsons style, which is absolutely amazing. His head sculpt looks really, really good, kind of derpy with the mouth open and whatnot, but it does look really, really good with... You know, the bald head and then the nice uh, red hair and red beard. And I really like his, like, four teeth he has and the tongue. Looks really cool. His green overalls with this, like, lighter green uh, college shirt, which is pretty cool. Some hair on his forearms there. And then nothing much, like, not, not too much detail going on. But it's just a pretty nice, cool little figure here, man. So his articulation is pretty similar to Homer and Bart's. He does have a swivel here ball hinge shoulders get a nice range of motion um, hinged elbows swivel at the biceps bicep there and then a ball hinge wrist so with the swivel and then they hinge um, inwards a swivel at the torso and waist uh, ball hinge hips I believe so forward backwards a little bit of outwards um, no swivel or anything hinged knees and then swivels at the ankle. So pretty simple articulation, but it's pretty nice, you know. And it really, you know, just to get some nice, like, little poses and um, just, like, some poses where just he's holding his accessories. So, yeah, it's pretty simple um, articulation, but it does definitely get the job done. Pretty simple figure, um, um, you know. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and get the final verdict. So here he is with the shovel looking really, really nice, and he is a pretty stable figure. He can stand very nicely on his own, which is super awesome. So yeah, he's an absolutely amazing figure. I mean, like, there's nothing that's, like, blowing me out of the park with this, you know, with the articulation or, you know, anything like that. But it's just a nice, simple figure, and for the price, you know, it's, it's really nice. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to see where this line goes. Um, Wave 2 has already been announced um, with... Krusty the Clown, Lisa, and Mo. Uh, those are the three new figures, and also Homer is getting the re-release, which is kind of lazy, but not too bad. Like I have mixed feelings on it because on you know one side, if you missed Homer in the first wave, you could, that's another way to get him because he is the main character, like one of the most popular, like most popular characters, but. I literally just went to the store yesterday and I saw a whole bunch of Homers um, peg warming. I guess they restocked a whole bunch of Homers peg warming, a few Barts, and a lot of Bartman. I don't know if it's just my particular store, but a, like a whole just rack, like peg pegs worth of Bartman. Or Bartman, I guess you'd kind of say. So yeah, I mean, I feel like they could have done like a different accessory. Like instead of like donuts, give them some duff beer if they can do that or just you know any other accessory would be really really nice and you know it's just a little unfortunate but crusty the crown crown crusty the clown looks really really good his feet look awesome 
Uh, they're really massive and whatnot. And he comes with a microphone, I believe. Lisa comes with a saxophone, so she's pretty similar to her 2.5-inch figure, but obviously with more articulation and being, I think, probably a little bit shorter than Bart. And then um, Mo comes with the telephone from the bar. Um, so, yeah. This is a really good figure, and those actually are on pre-order at this one site. I think, I, I forget what it is. If you if you follow The Simpsons, man, um, he will, he posted a link to it, and it's like $50 for three figures, I think. So, yeah, this guy's really, really good. He will definitely um, be good with auto. I still don't have auto. I haven't bought him online or anything. I probably need to get him on eBay because auto is the only figure that I have not seen in stores. So, um, yeah, he's definitely the hardest one to find. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.